Botswana says it has rejected a proposal to accept asylum seekers from the UK, an arrangement similar to the one that Rwanda has agreed to. The UK's House of Lords on Monday passed a bill that will see migrants deported to Rwanda in a move condemned by human rights activists and the United Nations. From Habroni, Botswana, Mokendisi Dube reports. An umbrella of civil society organizations in Botswana this week urged the government to reject proposals from the UK to send thousands of migrants to the African nation. Botswana's Minister for Foreign Affairs, Lemohan Kwabe, told VOA that UK authorities had reached out, but Habron authorities would not commit to hosting people not knowing what the end game would be. Kutwano Rilonte is the program manager for the Botswana Coalition, the Universal Periodic Review, UPR NGO Working Group. The Universal Periodic Review NGO Working Group calls on the government of Botswana and other countries to distance themselves from this controversial UK program, which appears to be aimed at protecting only some of those who are fleeing their countries on the basis of fear of prosecution and not others. We noted that in the case of the conflict in Ukraine, those seeking asylum were fast-tracked into the system and citizens even encouraged to host them in their homes. Further, the group says the UK government should respect international conventions on the treatment of migrants. We call upon the UK government to uphold international human rights principles and instruments in dealing with asylum seekers. In enacting the law, the UK says it wants to put an end to the irregular arrival of asylum seekers from mostly Asia and Africa via small boards. Jonathan Portes, a professor of economics and public policy in the UK, says under the Rwanda arrangement, some deserving asylum seekers will be turned away. Uh, there is a general view that the small boats crisis needs to be resolved, that it's uh, you know, very dangerous and unacceptable for people to be arriving in such numbers on boats across the channel. But that does not mean that the majority of the population wants to send people, particularly people in need, who would have a claim to refugee status to Rwanda. Portes says it is not surprising that countries such as Botswana are turning down the controversial policy after it came under heavy criticism from the United Nations and activists. And frankly, it would be highly unwise for any other country um, to, uh, uh, to participate in this, both from a reputational and practical point of view. Uh, I think, frankly, even the Rwandans, despite being offered really quite remarkably large sums of money by the UK government, are regret having set at the very least second thoughts about whether this policy um, is sensible. The policy was first initiated two years ago, but the UK Supreme Court ruled it unlawful, which halted deportation. Following Monday's passage of the bill, the UK is expected to start deporting asylum seekers to Rwanda by mid-July. Kondisi Dube, VOA News, Haboroni, Botswana. Unlike Botswana, the UK will pay at least $460 million to Rwanda as part of its plan to relocate asylum seekers there. The Rwanda bill will be open to anyone whose asylum claim has been rejected by the UK, and in particular, it is aimed at those who cannot return to their home countries. The bill is a victory for British Conservative Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Alex Vines, who leads the Africa program at Chatham House and is managing director for Risk, Ethics and Resilience, tells me, come November, the Labour Party, which opposes the Rwanda bill, could assume power. The Rwanda bill will become law, but it could still be challenged in the court. Uh, Law firms are going to take up individual cases. The the government here in in the UK is talking about the first flight maybe leaving for Kigali uh, in June, July. Um, The the British government uh, believes that it can ignore the European um, human rights and uh, send people Kenyan residents in various parts of the country are counting heavy losses as heavy floods continue to destroy their properties. On Wednesday last week, the Kenyan government sounded an alarm following the spilling of water from Masinga Dam, the dam, the largest water reservoir for power production in the country, has surpassed its capacity of one of 1,056.5 cubic meters. In North Lifty region, 
more than 400 families have been displaced and several hectares of food crops damaged or submerged as floods wreak havoc following recent heavy rains. The floods have also damaged roads and infrastructure. Transport services in several areas have been disrupted in the region. In Tulkana, West Pokot and El Gayo Malakwet counties, properties have been destroyed by flash floods as dams and levers burst their banks. The Kenya Meteorological Department has warned Kenyans to bless for more heavy rain. The Kenya Red Cross Society and county governments in the region are supplying families displaced by floods with medical equipment and drugs to curb an outbreak of waterborne diseases. There is also flooding in other parts of Turkana County after Lake Turkana passed its banks. The lake has swollen to unprecedented revels, putting the lives of scores of villagers who rely on it for fish at great risk. Flash floods have hit Lodwo town in the last 24 hours. Some dams and levers in the region are likely to burst due to the heavy downpour. North Lift Kenya Red Cross manager Oscar Okuno said that 360 families have been displaced by floods in Lord Wo, Turkana County and are in need of food and non-food items. Mm -hmm.